and gather you out of the lands where you are scattered, with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with wrath poured out, and I shall bring you into the wilderness of the peoples and shall enter into judgment with you face to face there. Where will they go? When Israel left Egypt, they went to the wilderness. And Revelation 12 describes this will also happen during the greater exodus. The prophets say the same will happen for those believers who escape from their homes, cities, and countries. However, it is called the wilderness of the peoples, literally meaning people will be out of the cities in the various nations. As I live, declares the Master Yahuwah, do not I, with a mighty hand, with an outstretched arm, and with wrath poured out, reign over you. And I shall bring you out from the peoples, and gather you out of the lands where you are scattered, with a mighty hand, and with an outstretched arm, and with wrath poured out. And I shall bring you into the wilderness of the peoples, and shall enter into judgment with you face to face there." As I entered into judgment with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Nitzrim, so I shall enter into judgment with you, declares the master Yahuwah. And I shall make you pass under the rod and shall bring you into the bond of the covenant and purge the rebels from among you. And those who transgress against me from the land where they sojourn, I bring them out. But they shall not come into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am Yahuwah, Ezekiel twenty thirty three through 38. This is one of the most dramatic and explicit descriptions of the greater Exodus using the very language that Yahuwah used in bringing the children of Israel out of Egypt. Yahuwah directly compares the greater Exodus, the wilderness of the peoples, to the Exodus speaking of his judgment upon the world, rendering judgment upon those in camp who will rebel as he did with Korah, Dathan, and Abram in Numbers 16 of the Exodus. Even Yahuwah's purpose remains the same for the greater Exodus as with the Exodus, and you shall know that I am Yahuwah. The book of Revelation also describes two witnesses. They are not obviously identified. Thus, census among scholars holds that they are Moses and Elijah, reincarnate or those in the spirit of Moses and Elijah. However, after taking a closer look at Scripture, we realize they are actually the great multitude remnant of Israel who washed their robes in the great tribulation. They announced the tribulation judgment from Yahuwah to the world. And I shall give unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy 1,260 days, clad in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands, that are standing before the Elohim of the earth. And if anyone wishes to harm them, fire comes out of their mouth and consumes their enemies. And if anyone wishes to harm them, he has to be killed in that way. Revelation 11, 3 through 5. The dwelling place is the spiritual temple equals New Jerusalem. Revelation 21, 22. New Jerusalem equals Israel. Revelation 21, 2 through 12. Israel equals the two houses, equals Judah and Ephraim, Ezekiel thirty seven twenty one. The two houses equals the two sticks, Ezekiel thirty seven sixteen. The two sticks, the two branches, the two olive trees. Zechariah four twelve. The two olive trees equals the two golden lampstands. Revelation eleven four. The two golden lampstands equals the two witnesses. Revelation 11, 3 through 4. Therefore, the two witnesses equals remnant of Israel. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and because of the word of their witness. And they did not love their lives to their death. Revelation twelve eleven. Therefore, we must be prepared to follow the lamb wherever he leads and receive the great seal of his name on our foreheads to protect us through the first half of the coming tribulation period. But be ever prepared to go out of the place of safety to rebuke the enemy and the beast system, knowing many of Israel may be martyred and cling to the faith even unto death with the expectation of the resurrection of the first fruits. It is the honor of men 
to not be afraid of the one who can destroy the body, but the one who can destroy both body and the soul, knowing he is faithful. (laughs) 